Global Enterprise Finance Agency has collaborated with BP to drive transformation and open doors for black-owned businesses in the energy sector. The deal, valued at nearly 60 million rand, was signed yesterday. For more on this now, we're joined by the Small Enterprises Finance Agency CEO, Mkulisi Machamba, who joins us from what looks like his car because he's a man on the go. Mkulisi, thank you so much for uh, your time this afternoon as you um, blitz around on a Friday afternoon. We really do appreciate it. Uh, tell us more um, about this collaboration. Thank you, thank you, and apologies for being on the road at this moment. Um, but look, we actually partnered with British Petroleum who support uh, the provision of access, really, to petroleum opportunities for the new entrance in the market. As we all know, for example, if you want to set up a service station in the petrol industry space, they usually ask for what they call the key money, which is your unencumbered or own contribution money. And the majority of the new entrants in the space, they do not have that key money. And that is where we come in as safer to provide actually that gap uh, to allow people to access funding. And PP put their own money also to allow the, the, the new entrants in the market to supply other services and products to British Petroleum. And we're going to be matching that funding from PP with our own resources so that we really simplify the market opportunities that the new entrants are looking mm -hmm. for. It's not only about petroleum products, but also if you look at the convenience stores of BP, there are services or goods that may be required by the company that the new entrants can provide. So this relationship really is meant to provide access to finance, predominantly to those who were previously at disadvantage because uh, you will know that that industry has been predominantly uh, dominated by uh, those who were previously advantaged, if I may use that term. Yeah, indeed. Uh, and of course, you should be using that term. It's sad that we still have to use that term where we find ourselves in 2023, uh, uh, Mkulisi. Talk to us about that gap. Um, a gap in terms of access to funding, we've heard, is an ongoing problem. The red tape is another in trying to make sure that people have all of their paperwork sorted so they can get onto the right list for tenders and that kind of thing. What are some of the major other uh, barriers to entry that you're, you're finding when working um, uh, in the work? That you're doing as an agency you know even before you get to access to finance one of the critical bottlenecks for, for SMEs to access the space of a uh, business is what you call deal packaging you find mm. that uh, some of our entrants they struggle to put together the deal or the proposal or business plan and we are of the opinion that working with our sister agency a uh, small uh, development agency small business development agency CIDA, uh, we actually assist now these SMEs to put the deals together. But one of the things that we said we want to improve on is we don't want generalists now to package deals. You need people who understand that particular sector so that you don't get a cut and paste of a business proposal mm. from a different sector. But you need people who understand, who are sector specialists, who will be able to package the deal in a manner that any funder will actually have the comfort to finance. Secondly, the other critical issue is uh, what we call post-investment support because you don't want to find somebody and walk away mm. because your book will be left actually exposed. So even in that front, you will need mentors who are also sector specialists because you don't need a mentor who's a generalist. You must understand and you should have walked that journey to be a mentor in the petroleum sector or a retail sector or manufacturing sector. You should have a background in a particular sector. So, we're strengthening now our capacity in the post-investment sector and also pre-investment to ensure that there's deal packaging. And the other issue is also your access to markets because, for example, you find a lot of uh, youth now moving into the agri space and they grow these products, but they don't, they don't have anywhere to sell them. And we're saying one of the work that we need to do working with the retailers is to provide market access to these new entrants so that they can produce these agri products and have a place to sell them. Mm -hmm. And we need to be, to build those linkages between your retailers and your new entrants in the space. Because we've seen from our side the number of young people now moving into agriculture, not because maybe they love it, but because of desperation and they've got access to land and they want now to, to, to really use the land productively. And the market access becomes a very, very important segment, what we call intervention that we want to work on. 
what kind of role will mentoring play in this new collaboration with a big giant like BP? You know, um, fortunately, I'm from that space. In my, when my career started, I started mm. in the petroleum sector. You have people who actually uh, will go and run a service station. They've never been in the petroleum industry sector. They need to understand the dynamics of that sector. For example, you can never run a service station remotely. You need to be there 24-7. Otherwise, your employees are going to nail you. And you need to understand the issues around the thin margins that you get from selling the products. Well, that's a business that is driven by volumes. But also, you need to have what you call the C-stores, your convenience stores. Because those convenience stores or quick service restaurants, like, uh, I don't, don't want to mention the brand names because I'll be giving them free mm -hmm. advertising. But you find a lot of them selling pizzas and burgers and fish and other products in the service station because you need that business so that it actually assists with the revenue generation of your of your what called your petroleum products a business and then a mentor then becomes very critical in assisting that person you may be a teacher before you move into that space you need somebody who's from the petroleum industry sector is going to actually mentor you you may be a student who just actually graduated even if you have your masters if you have not walked that journey you need somebody who's going to assist you, who has got the experience, because you can never buy experience or replace it. So we, that's why we're saying with BP, we want mentors who have also run these businesses so that when you actually have to run a BP business, there's somebody who understands how does that sector work and how do we do things as a company, both as BP and CIFA, because I want the money back. BP wants the returns for their shareholders. I need the money back so that I can refinance other SMEs. So well, we need mentors now who have worked the uh, to be able to add value to these little investors of ours. Well, well, let's hope mentors watching right now can hit you up, as the young people say, the small enterprise and finance agency, and indeed those who feel like they are perfect candidates for this new co a co a collaboration between the agency and BP. And that is the CEO of the small enterprise finance agency, Nkulisi Machamba, telling us all about it and joining us from here in Johannesburg. We thank him for his time.